Yo, look at all these different models, bro. Like all these character models. They all look nice. It's pretty cool. It's neat. Yeah, tuxedo. Yo, what? Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Bryson here back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you bums how to make a free animation with little to no experience because everybody's lazy and I don't feel like doing all that work. I already did a video on this, but I'm doing it again because why not? And plus, some people need to, you know, a nice little recap. But first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need 3D models. And where are you gonna get 3D models? Online from random artists that will just give their stuff away because, you know, they're generous. My favorite websites is Sketchfab, Mixamo, and TurboSquid. But of course, there are other ones, but in my opinion, these are the best. I'm gonna be using Sketchfab, but Mixamo is what we're gonna be using. It actually uses the animations within it because there's preset animations that Adobe made themselves, which is awesome. There's also characters that they made, which is a nice little wide variety. It's a lot of fantasy characters and whatever that thing is. But I'm gonna be using Sketchfab. So I'm gonna search up Spider-Man because Spider-Man's cool. Everybody loves Spider-Man, I hope. You know, I'm gonna scroll down, whatever. There's gonna be a bunch of random stuff, but the ones that you need to look for is the ones that are kind of like in this weird T-pose looking thing. That's the ones that you're gonna be downloading. And I just already chose this one because in my opinion, this one's the most, the most versatile and easiest to use. Because for some reason, that downloading is kind of wonky, but you can still do it. It's not that hard. But you know, there's other ones. You got this one over here. You got this one in the corner. You know, and you got other stuff. You got, ooh. And you know, there's this one over here, which that's a blender, but you know, it's still cool. You got the Miguel. I, whoa, had draw line. But yeah, what are you gonna do, right? You're gonna choose the one you want. I chose this one, obviously. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down, and whenever you see download 3D model, you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna click that, and you're gonna click FBX, because this is, in my opinion, the best for like importing and exporting. And so you're gonna press download, and it's gonna download as a WinRAR file. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna extract that, and yada, 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 until you get the actual um, FBX file itself. And then you're gonna head over to Mixamo, right? And then it's gonna start as like a random character. Uh, I don't know which one. I'm just gonna do this one. And you know, it's gonna start like this, and you know, it's not gonna character. It's not gonna be the character you want. So you're gonna press upload character, right? Select character file. Go to your files, and I already have it here. So yeah, I'm just gonna skip to whenever it actually um, processes because it takes a second. So it just processed my character and it took about 30 seconds. But I'm not gonna make y'all wait in plain silence for 30 seconds. What do you think I am? And you know, you're gonna be greeted with this little thing right here. And so it'll automatically rigged. And if yours is not rigged, there is a chance that you'll have like an option to actually rig it yourself, which it's, I don't really need to explain it because it's actually really straightforward. But yeah, you're gonna press next, wait for that to actually load. And then boom, it's loaded into Mixamo, right? And this is the next step, which is getting your animations ready. And I'm gonna choose a backflip because everybody loves backflips, hopefully, unless you're a bum. And you know, I'm gonna search that up. You're gonna choose the one you want. I chose this one. There's also, you know, there's more than this. There's actually a, there's a lot. And there's like piles and there's like hundreds, probably thousands or something in here. But yeah. You're gonna get this, right? And then you're gonna press download, which is cool. And then you're gonna choose a format, which it should be the same format, FBX. Make sure this is with skin. Keyframe reduction, none. And then FPS, this is kind of up to you, but frames per second, if you increase it to like 60, it's gonna be cleaner, but it's gonna take longer to load. Or like rendering and stuff and yada yada yada. But you know, you're gonna press download. I already downloaded mine, so I don't need to. It's gonna show up in your downloads, whatever, yada yada. And then you go to Blender, right? This is the software we're gonna be using. Everything is gonna be linked down below. So, what are we gonna do, right? Let's make a little environment. We're gonna make a mesh, plane, scale that, which is you're just gonna use a little square thing for the size. And then you're just gonna drag that thing up. Then you're gonna press this, whatever. I'm gonna do like a dark green because yeah. You're gonna change change this tab to like viewport shading. It's easier. It makes life simpler. And if you guys want the lighting to be done instantly, it's pretty simple. All you're gonna do is make sure this is not selected. You're gonna go to world, add, 
add texture and then you're gonna have a sky texture this is just in my opinion it's just the easiest way to get a quick you know little thing because whenever it's rendered it just looks like this so it's kind of like automatically automatic everything is fine everything's automatically set up and whatever self-explanatory but in order to get the animation in it you're gonna press file import and then fbx right you're gonna go to downloads or whatever you put it and i already got mine so i'm just gonna import the fbx and wait for that mine's a little big so all you gotta do is make sure everything's selected and just scale it down it's kind of you know obvious and in order to record it there is already a camera here but if you need to you can just press add and there's a camera thing yada yada yeah you can kind of change the rel uh, resolution the resolution and the aspect ratio over here so yeah you got that but i'm gonna go ahead and set up my camera real quick okay so i got my camera set up the way i want it right here which is not a great camera angle but you know it's, it's whatever you're just trying to get it quickly out whatever and you're gonna go to this little tab right and then you should be on 3d viewport but you're gonna go to this little animation thing and you're gonna press timeline and wherever whenever you click the character and you click these like little peg looking things it's called armature and then you're gonna figure out where it ends so this ends at 67 so you're gonna end it on 67. it's pretty self-explanatory yada 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 so now all you gotta do is render it which is the easy part you already got all the hard part out the way good job so you're gonna press render right make sure everything is right ev whatever none of this is really important this is all the important crap so let me just go ahead and show you from the jump the format make sure it's all the same 30 fps same thing as what you chose in mixamo and then you're going to go to output right this is automatically going to be at png but what you're going to do is that you're going to change this to ffmpeg video so yeah you're going to choose that and then you're going to choose where you want to export it at i'm going to export it in downloads yeah yeah, yeah. and what you can do here is that you can just name it whatever so i'm a uh, spider man Spidman flip yeah so yeah, i named it everything should be good just make sure i don't need to edit anything else yet so it should be good over here everything should be set up properly and what you're gonna do you're gonna press uh render render animation so i'm gonna go ahead and skip to whenever it's actually animated or fully rendered not animated okay so everything is rendered all the animations done the videos done whatever it should be exported into your files so all you gotta do is you go to your downloads or wherever you put the uh, location as and you can just click it and you can watch it upload it share it do whatever i don't really know do what you do but yeah that's about it it's pretty cool it's nice and neat you know you can get advanced with it you can and I'll make a part two if you guys want on how to combine like multiple Mixamo animations so it can be like a way longer animation and it can still look pretty clean. But if you guys want that, then go ahead and comment it down below. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys did like, subscribe, whatever, share, do whatever you want. I don't really care. Have a good day and see ya.